any industry that wants to produce uh, safe foods, they can do that. Is America's food supply safe? Safety is a relative term. Food is relatively safe. You cannot absolutely say that the food is safe as it's evidenced by millions of people that get foodborne illnesses every year. What should concern people most about produce? People really need to kind of understand what they are eating, where it has been grown. You know, you buy a bag of lettuce, where was it grown? Is the product of California, Arizona, or came from south of the border somewhere? The country of origin for, for the foods that we buy is really significant. For instance, if you go to a country, you know, like you're, you're planning to travel to a country and they say, when you go there, don't eat salads and don't drink water. And then you find out that your salad is coming from that place. Then you say, okay, what were they thinking? There is a risk associated with consuming any natural product, anything that has been grown in a field is going to have a level of microbial contamination. What the leafy green industry is doing, they're trying to minimize the impact. They're trying to remove as much of the contamination as possible, but that's not universal. So what is the, the ultimate food safety program? Uh, there are a lot of people that say that testing has no effect and would, will not make your product safe. Uh, it is totally a wrong premise. The purpose of testing is a final validation that this product can go into chain of commerce and that everything else that you have done so far has worked properly. Okay? And the key is a statistically significant sampling program. You cannot produce a million pounds of salads and take a grab sample of 25 grams and say, oh, negative, therefore it's safe. When it comes to produce, the, the industry says, look, we're doing everything we can. Are they right? Some are doing everything that they can. But you, but you, but you see a broad range of companies, you talk True. to people in the industry. For the most part, are they right or are they wrong? For the most part, is, uh, I would say that they are not right because a lot more can be done. It's, 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 it's about continuously looking at what you do and improving on what you do. So which camp would most companies fall? In a camp that <coughs> they usually trust their process and they say we are confident in our processes, therefore we do not need to uh, test to any level or to high levels. Is that the good way to go? No, we call that faith-based food safety systems. But it doesn't seem like that method has really failed the country, has it? Well, if you look at the number of people that die every year, the number of people that get sick, there are people that say that 1% dying from a foodborne infection a year is one too many. The big outbreaks kind of are behind us, right? We had one in 2006. You famously worked on one in the late 1990s. Have we seen the worst of it? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, our ability to detect outbreaks is not as good as what we had before. And, 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 and that, that is actually has, has been harmed uh, through lack of investment in epidemiology. So at any given point, there are many clusters of patients. Uh, the epidemiologists cannot necessarily connect the dots and say it was such and such food. The system works when it's given enough resources. The system works really well in controlling E. coli 0157 in beef. That's because it threatened to shut down the industry. Exactly, but at the same time... But without that existential threat, is there any possibility that the, regula the regulators and the industry are going to take things seriously? Are either of them going to take things seriously unless their business and their profits are at risk? No one goes to food production uh, wanting to hurt people or kill people. The problem that we have is that sometimes you get active regulations. When we get regulators that become very active and, and try to control, which is what happened with the 0157 in beef. And it's an amazing success story. 
The question is that you know you have the food industry is huge, and you have FDA and small portion of USDA that are in charge of food safety. We need to give them more resources. How much more does the FDA really need to do its job right? Uh, much more than what they have been asking for. How much more? I would say they need probably minimum 10 times more resources. 10 times more resources.